hello YouTube welcome back to the Bison Workshop I'm Bob and today we're going to finish up the Bison Stereo Unit Build and um, we got everything cut out now I did this off camera because I had to have the old lady help me cut it out to hold this down because this uh, using a jigsaw is not unlike uh, using a uh, scroll saw is very violent and it was so violent that I bent a blade so you know if it catches just at the right place it'll uh, shoot the jigsaw up in the air and then bend your blade and that's what happened so we got it cut out and now we're ready to reassemble it so we'll go ahead and get started on that and while I'm doing this I'm going to play some music because I'm probably going to speed this part up so as soon as I get my stereo on we'll get started together now we get to wire it up so we got our hot which what I did was put a um, little thing on there that I can put wires in to go over top of the radio so we're going to slide that down in there just like so Kind of make it a little neater. All right, then we need to uh, hook up a ground. So we're going to look and see if we can find one of those things that this here will plug onto. And we're going to utilize one of these screws here and put one of those there so I can just plug this onto it and that will give me my ground. So we'll be right back. All right, well, I couldn't find one of those little square things that this will uh, plug into, so I did find one of these that I had cut off of a wire at one time or another, and it's got just enough wire on the end of it that I can uh, use that. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, we're just gonna use black tape uh, for the simple reason. Uh, I'm gonna trade or change this radio at one point so there's no sense in putting a permanent heat shrink on it until I've got a permanent radio in it so we're just gonna use black tape for now And it sure is hard to find a good black tape that ain't worthless. Can't hardly get them tight. 3M is about the best tape you can get. Plus black tape looks terrible. So now we're going to take and put that right there on that screw. Now 
the fan is grounded. Now we're going to take and we're going to shorten this one because we don't need that big a wire. So we're going to shorten that. All right, so we're going to cut that down or strip it. Well, guys, um, gotta go see an eye doctor Monday. Um, been having problems with my eyes, been having a lot of problems with a lot of things. Um, we'll plug that up right there. All right, this is going to be power to the fan. One of these is going to be your input power, and the other one here. is going to be hooked to this so these three right here the two radio ones will get hooked together so we gotta find us another wire and what we got going on here is we got orange and red Orange is your uh, continuous power to keep the memory on your um, radio so that your presets are always there. And the red one is the hot for when you turn the uh, switch on. So we're just going to wire both of them together since it's going to be in the shop. And then we're going to wire this one to that, which is your fuse. And you know what? Let me uh, run the fan to it too. That way they're both fused. guys I believe that uh, I need to start over <laughs> and guess what I lost my um, wire strippers I'll be damned I swear it ain't safe to set nothing down in this shop man <laughs> 